Hello viewers, this is a hydrometer and refractometer wine ABV test. Today I'm retesting the hydrometer and refractometer method for determining the alcohol content of wine. In a previous video, I tried this method with one of my homebrewed rice wines. I wasn't too sure about my results though. So today I'm testing a bottle of white wine that I bought for validation purposes. Will I get a reasonable calculated ABV? So the purpose of this channel is to promote rustic Asian rice wine. Enjoy drinking and brewing rice wine at home. There are hundreds of videos for you to watch. If you like this video, please click that like button and subscribe. Click the bell to be notified. I have a new video every week. And please share this video wherever it is appropriate. So it says 13% alcohol by volume on the label of this white wine. Now that actually means somewhere between 11.5 and 14% according to the regulations for wine labels in the U.S. So I'm pouring it into my... Um, my test tube here up to the, uh, I need at least 120 milliliters in order to use the hydrometer. So I've marked that, so I need at least that. I'm just checking the temperature. Right now it's, it's uh, pretty cold. Um, so uh, I'm going to uh, let the bubbles dissipate and I'm going to let it warm to room temperature. Hopefully that'll provide a more accurate reading. So it's been more than an hour now. I also want to make sure there's no bubbles stuck onto the hydrometer so it floats completely freely. So it's close to room te temperature now. And uh, let's try to get a reading. So it should be centered and uh, floating freely, and I need to read the bottom of the meniscus. So what is that? Um, okay, so I, I think that is 0 0.992 or 9, yeah. It's a little hard to tell because of the of the um, refraction, but looking at it exactly level, it looks like 0 0.992 to me. So now let's calibrate the refractometer, the other tool I need to use. So first of all, with just with some distilled water on the glass plate, close it up, and uh, wait 30 seconds. Then look through the viewfinder and uh, get a reading. So it's at zero, that's good. I also have this calibration solution. I'm going to use that too. Wait 30 seconds and then look at it. It's supposed to be 4.4. but I actually see 4.6 here, so let's remember that. This seems to be reading a bit high. It's also important to clean the refractometer after each use, rinse it, and dry it thoroughly. Now let's double check the temperature and the hydrometer reading. Now we're at a temperature of 18.5 degrees Celsius, and we're still at a density of 0.992. Now let's get a refractometer measurement. Um, I've cleaned the refractometer and dried it. Uh, get a sample of the wine. Wait 30 seconds. And uh, in terms of reading, this looks like 6.9 bricks to me. And re remember the calibration, it was reading high. So this could really be 6.7 or maybe even 6.6, just judging by the calibration solution. 
Okay, now let's calculate the ABV. Let's take a look at the calculator. Enter 0.992 for the density and 6.9 for the uh, bricks. That gives it alcohol by volume of 12.7%. Okay, so that's within the range. Well, that's good, but remember that by the calibration, it, the bricks could be reading a bit high. So maybe it's 6.7 or even 6.6, uh, 6.6, that's 12.2% alcohol by volume. That's still within the, within the range. Um, let's see what happens if I try different specific gravities. What if I'm off by 0 0.001? What if it's 0.991 or 0.993? Um, I still get values um, in the range. So trying all the possibilities here, I'm still getting an ABV that's uh, within 1.5% of 13%. So what's important here is that the calculated ABV, even incorporating the likely error ranges of my measurements, it still gives results within the expected range, somewhere between 11.5% and 14%. So that validates these tools. Uh, so this doesn't prove that this method works in all circumstances, but it, at least it shows that it works in this one circumstance. I was able to measure the ABV of this wine with this method within the accepted tolerance. So I'm going to have to revisit, uh, revisit this and measure some more of my rice wine later on, see what results I get. Um, this gives me a little more confidence that I can trust this. Uh, but I do need to be careful, you know, with cleaning the refractometer and making sure um, there's no bubbles in the hydrometer and uh, that things have stabilized to room temperature. I hope you found this video interesting. Let me know what you think in the comments. And thank you for watching.